Yeah, guys, I got a bit of a fright there, I won't lie. Baboons have sharp teeth. Okay, <laughs> startled me somewhat. Hi, guys, Reno here. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to, step to, step to. I know what you're thinking, guys. What the hell are you doing in a waste dump? Well, I'm in Caledon. And this is a feeding ground to three troops of baboons. That's about 300 baboons that come and feed here on a daily basis. Fuck it, I love baboons. Let's go check them out, guys. Never feed baboons, guys. Each baboon is in charge of his own food. As soon as a human gives a baboon food, it'll see you as weak and subordinate. One thing you don't want to show around a baboon is weakness. Here we've got a mother with a brand new baby. Still got its pink ears. The baboon's born with a, a pink face. Earlier she was just showing her off to some of her friends. They come and watch when they see the little baby. Welcome out to the world. Just stunning. Cutest little eyes I've ever seen. Here we've got an alpha male. They weigh in at about 40 kilograms usually, but these guys are pretty big because they've been eating human food. And the alpha males, they've got the first rights on the food and the first rights of the woman. I tell you, Sometimes I can identify with an alpha male. Except my canines aren't quite as large. These guys have got canines as large as a lion, might I add. They make a, a big noise, they puff out their cheeks, you can see their teeth, their big teeth, and they make a wah, wah sound. But like Al Pacino in Scent of a Woman, but a bit more aggression to it. In fact, it reminds me a lot of my friend Tinus. After a couple of brandy and cokes, he's on the bar and he's going wah, wah, showing his teeth. Anyway, now you can see the alpha male behind me. It's got a little cattle tag on its ear. Now that means it's been raiding the village. Now if it raids the village one more time, they're going to execute that baboon. Which is really, really sad. Now our duty as human beings is to create an environment where the baboons just can't come in and eat the human food and make it so readily available to them. Once again, we are the problem. There's a fertile female. You can see the red backside means that she's fertile. So she's currently driving all the men here a bit crazy. That's why you can see a bit of the fighting going on. Check out this tractor. Fucking crazy. A bit of a depressing episode, I know, guys, and I apologize for that. But what's the model here? It's time to look inward. Time to get waste wise. Recycle your tins, your plastic, your glass. Your food, put it in a compost heap. Don't throw it in the bin. Whatever you throw away at home has to go somewhere. And it's usually a place like this. It's so sad, it makes me want to cry. But I'll never cry in front of all these baboons. I will not show that weakness. I won't show that weakness in front of anyone. Guys, I can no longer. I'm Reno, and I'm out of here. Shout out to Baboon Matters. Go check out their page online and see what you can do to help. If you enjoyed that video guys, don't forget to like it, subscribe it and share it with a friend if you will. Please, press the bell notification button. I don't know what the hell it does, but apparently it's quite important.